Podcast, a weekly conversation about the tragic comedy of suburban sprawl, featuring James Howard Kunstler, author of The Geography of Nowhere, The Long Emergency, and World Made by Hand. I'm Duncan Crary, and today's topic is revisiting Seaside. Well, Jim, um, it's nice to see you again. You took a little a trip to the American South recently. I did. I go there from time to time, and it's always an adventure. Yeah. Did you catch any NASCAR races while you were down there? <laughs> huh. Well, the whole place is sort of like a NASCAR race, you know. Uh, these southern cities have just sort of committed suicide. I mean, most many American cities have committed suicide anyway. But in the South, it's particularly extreme. It had a lot to do with the fact that they became relatively wealthy in a kind of broad-based way um, in a short period of time between about 1960 and, and now. Um, because of the explosive growth of the Sun Belt, and most of it was due to suburban building activity. You know, it was most um, uh, excessive and, and grotesque in Florida, but you saw very similar stuff happening, you know, in Atlanta and really across much of the South. Um, and it manifested itself in this, th these grotesque explosions of highway strip commerce and, you know, the big box stores and the donut shops, you know. W what we have up here, of course, is, you know, pretty bad, even though we we've been an economic backwater for the last 40 years. You're talking about the Northeast? Yeah, the Northeast. But down there, you know, they were an agricultural backwater until about 1960. And then, you know, for various reasons, they get cheap labor, they attracted a lot of industry that moved south, a lot of the textile industry moved south, um, for example. They became uh, wealthier than they had been, but most of the economic action was in sprawl building. They were really avid for uh, improving their highways. Uh, the car really liberated the South from the tyranny of geography. And, uh, you know, once they got some money, the first thing they wanted to do was make their roads bigger, straighter.